That's the Burj Al Arab on the left hand side. After the signal, you will see some beautiful houses. One of them is mine. Yes. According to any other men, provided to husband and family members. So if you're walking outside, you need to cover your face. I mean, I'm talking about the Muslim culture. So that means once she's married, once the girl starts growing up, then she starts, when she's in the teens, she starts wearing the abaya. Once she is married, she has to cover her face. See the houses now? How do you like it? That's mine and that's my cousin. <laughs> this guy may be a super rich man. He may have a good business. What do you think these people who are standing, staying here? Do you think they've been staying uh, just recently? These folks have been staying from decades. I mean to say these people who are staying here, once upon a time, they were all fishermen. Because we are very close to the coast, opposite is the sea. So for them, it was very easy for them to go fish and come back. Before you didn't have any Burj Al Arab or anything, just complete sand over there. So it was easy for them to go fishing, come back. But now, the government is very much, you know, for the people because uh, they they do a lot of things for the locals. So right for a person, every individual, every family is given uh, a plot so that they make their houses. They respect how big you want to make them. But from the government side, you're given a plot so that you make a house. Everything has been taken care of by the government. See, we are ratio of 80-20. Our total population here are 9.5 million. Overall, we are ratio of 80-20. 80% are expats. I'm one of the expats. 20% are the locals, like these people. And 20%, it is very easy for the government to take care of them. It's a small number. For them, it doesn't matter. And they can stay by the government. No problem. Here, even if a couple gets married, here, extra 75,000 dirham. This is from us. So this is how they are beneficial. Right to the last breath of the person. Everything is true. Coming... What about the expats? say Tata Bye Bye. See, if you, want, if you notice, the expats here, you will not see old people here. Why? Because expats who are coming here, they are all coming to work. So there's an eligibility of working. Even you have working, your eligibility of your insurance also dip down. So as soon as you grow old, your insurance become low. So on that basis, without insurance, no one can stay in this country, honestly. You go to a doc and just check yourself. You just check yourself, he charge you 200, 300 dollars. Is expensive. He prescribes your medicines, medication. If you want one strip, you have to buy a hell lot of ten strips in the box. Expensive. So here you, you know, it's very difficult. Until unless you're insured, then you're safe. Otherwise, so once if you have a sponsor, if you have a, uh, if you have, like my, if I grow old, if my children that is able to take care of me, that's fine. And they're working fine. They're making enough money. That's fine. But if they are not able, they say, Dada or Daddy, you go back. I can't take care of you. So, 
So mind us, you go back and get yourself treated, which is free of cost in your own country. On the final touch-ups are going up. If you notice the building, see this on the right. It's like the shape like the boat, actually. It's a nice, it's mesmerizing. I've been in one of the rooms. I've seen, i visited the place. It's very nice and beautiful. You can also visit the rooms, but yes, you need to reserve some kind of something like you need to go do the inside Burj Arab tour. So I had a group, I've taken them. There's one of the rooms which is called the Royal Suite, which is very expensive, but everything in detail made of 24 karat gold. The surrounding, the ceiling, the TV channel, the TV panel, 24 karat gold. And guess what? You go inside the toilet bathroom. It's 24 karat. So you'll be sitting on the golden throne. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But yes, eventually it's the most expensive room. On your right, this is Wild Wadi Water Park. And here we go, the most expensive hotel on the right. This is called the Burj Al Arab. Sorry? 2000 to $24,000 per night. 